everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II Blind! So, where we last left off, I had just spoken to the king, and found out that I need to go find Gordon to... Oh lord. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what... We have to find Gordon to get some kind of bell to open up Kashwan or something. So I'm gonna... I realized after my last recording that I never asked Hilda about that, so I'm gonna go do that now. And hopefully get some answers as to where Gordon is. Like, dude. Hi, Hilda. Father has become comfortable for now. Well, that's great. Wait, no, nothing to learn. Say, God is Bell. I've heard Joseph talk about that sometimes. Perhaps you should take another trip to Salmando. Okay. Well, that was helpful. Okay. Sorry, button problem. Woo! Well, then off we go to Salmando again. It's winter. Oh no, am I gonna have to do that, uh... Oh... Am I gonna have to go up and do that, that, that place in the mountains thing? Oh boy. Alright, well, let's walk on up there. Canoe! Ugh. Now, admittedly, I do know some of the people who join your party, and I know... I think I know that Joseph is one of them, and I think Gordon is one of them, too. I think. And I only know this, to be fair, because I've played a lot of Final Fantasy in my life and watched a bunch. That doesn't mean I know anything about the plot. I just know who joins you, more or less, sort of, kind of. It's like a pirate girl, too, or something. Anyway, I eagerly anticipate this stuff, but that's more or less all I know. So we're going to have fun finding that out. Um, I want to go to... I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk to Salmando. I don't want to pay Sid. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to part with my money. Anyway, all that being a roundabout way of saying, I think this is probably where Joseph joins us, but I'm not sure, so... We're gonna go find out. Uh... It is so weird not having men in my party to do nothing. <laughs> Hello, Salmando. Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, are you saying anything new? No, you're not. Okay. But I feel like... Didn't someone mention... Like a sled or something? Uh, how many... How many women did you marry? Okay, anyway. Um, I think it was this guy that said something about that. No, everyone's talking about taking the Mithril to Hilda. Okay. Because I feel like there was some kind of sled that's in that cave that I was in. The semi-cave. I am in love with Joseph, but I only got in his way. I'm going to say goddess bell. Nope. Worship? No. Sunflame? No. Air. Yeah. Airship? Why well, aren't you just boring? Okay, fine. Hi, Joseph. You're purple. My daughter is Sif. I apologize for being so rude. Okay, seriously, I don't know why I'm doing such weird accents for jo Joseph. is like Russian-ish, I think. Okay. Fair. I was, I was so worried about her. Let me know if I can ever repay you. Well, let's say some goddess bell. The goddess bell. I, it's hidden somewhere up north, around the snowy mountain range. However, you can't enter the, uh, the snowfield without my ice sled. I hid it in the cement cave. Oh, crud. We do have to go back there. A secret chamber exists on the ground floor. I've marked the spot. I'll show you the way. Oh! That little thing at the beginning of the the cave that I was I was wondering about before. That's what that is, I bet. Hooray, we have Joseph! And he's... Ooh, he's bad. He's cool. And he's got no MP, which means he's a physical fighter. Yes! No uselessness like Min. He reminds me of... He reminds me of Yang. Or Yang, or however you say it, from Final Fantasy IV. Which means I probably should have given some sort of terribly offensive Asian accent, but I'm not going to do that. For some reason, a Russian accent is less offensive, offensive than an Asian accent. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh! You're, you've, got, you've got the whole fringe of hair going. I'm gonna keep this in because this is the first battle with Joseph in it. And you're gonna do that. I didn't check what he was equipped with. Oh, snap! He punches things. <laughs> like a machine gun punch. Did you see that? Awesome. I can't do sound effects right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> it was a late night last night. 
Oh, well, anyway, back to Semite Cave. We go. And, uh, I was, I mean, I think I was right. Let me see. B, select. Oh, yeah. That's totally where I'm gonna have to go. I hope this ice sledding thing is fun. Okay, I officially really like Joseph. <laughs> He's a lot more useful than Min was. <laughs> He's great. He's great. He punches things and they die. It's wonderful. Alrighty. I love the posture with which he punches. It's a total Final Fantasy thing. Oh, Joseph gets intelligence down, but power up! And I get this garlic again. I still know what garlic does. I got a ton of stuff. I just don't use it. He stands up straight and he punches you dignif in a dignified manner in the face. <laughs> it's glorious. And Celeste got an ice level up! Hooray! I have ice 2, fire 2, and bolt 2 now. So now I can start working on bolt 3 and ice 3. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is what Joseph was talking about. What? Am I, am I crazy? Or... Okay, um... Oh, guys, I'm sorry, I pulled a stupid. I paused the recording while to get up and get something to eat. And I just realized that I had left it paused. I am dumb. I'm sorry. Let me show you what I just did. I was, um... I was busy wall humping around here because I thought, okay, there must be something. And sure enough... I have wall humped here. There's nothing there now, but then Joseph said there was a thing there, so I walked in here, and there was the ice sled. So that's all I did. If I would, re I would re-record it if it was more important than that. But um, I apologize. I didn't mean to leave that out. But at least now we're good and going again. And Celeste really needs to work on her curative magic. <laughs> she really does. She's like I, I was healing up my party all at once there, and she's healing maybe like. Bill gets intelligence down and power up. Celeste gets... I missed it. Anyway. Um, yeah, because she's doing a... She's doing a, like, five heal per thing when she casts Cure on the whole party. And that, at this stage of the game, is just simply not acceptable. So, now that we have the ice sled, I suppose what we're going to be doing is going north. Woo! I got an eye drop. Hooray. You know, I'm a little worried that with all the possible ways to level up my characters, I'm not leveling them, leveling them up the right way. You know, like, I should be, um, t you know, teaching other people magic, or, um, getting Maria to learn, or Celeste to learn some other weapons. I just want to check and see how I'm doing with Cure. Halfway. <laughs> she really hasn't used much Cure. We're doing okay with the others, though, and I should probably start using safe, too, just to level it up. I hope I'm doing this right. I mean, it's... I've heard when I started this Let's Play that this was a notoriously difficult iteration of Final Fantasy. Pardon me, I'm just gonna stop at the end. Um, so, I'm a little afraid that I'm gonna hit a wall and have to go do some massive grinding at some point. But, you know, that wouldn't necessarily be the end of the world. I sleep for a second, and I'm out, and I'm free! Um, did I? You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop in the magic shop here and just check to make sure there's nothing I need. Now that I don't have Min in my party to be, like, the wizard extraordinaire of white magic. Ooh. Although, in really, really, this game, there's no white and black magic. There's just, like, magic. Oh, life would be a good thing, but I don't have the money. And I got exit. Yay. I, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what anti, anti does, either. Hmm. I'll save up for life, because life would be a really, really good spell to have. For real. Faux realsies. Um, guess that's it for here, so I'm gonna head around and up to the north to use my ice sled. Although I'm gonna save. Save over file one right now. Yeah. Cool. And, uh, I'm gonna... Yeah! Let's go see what this ice sledding thing's all about. Potion! As if I don't have enough of those right now. I really should have sold stuff. Maybe? No, it's okay. I'll go and do that later. Right now, I want to go ice sledding. Ice sledding. That just sounds dangerous on too many levels. So I had Celeste use safe for the first time, and I just want to check to see how much that did. 
okay, four. Yeah, okay. Okay. Fair. It really is kind of like the secret amount of leveling up system, except a little bit slower in the beginning. Ah, there we are. Here's our ice sledding. Oh, it's just a way of navigating the map. Oh, okay, new enemies, new enemies. Snowman! It's an abominable snowman. I'm going to keep having her level up safe, so I'm going to use it on Joseph, because he seems a little bit squishable. He fights with his fists and destroys things, but that means he might be a little bit low on the defensive side. Oh, excuse me, not that these snowmen are really doing much right now. Oh, but they have a lot of health. Oh, okay. I'm okay. I'm okay, because Bill is kicking butt with his mithril sword. And Andre... Andre, what was that? That was sad. How dare you be so sad, Andre. I guess I'll safe again, because I really don't... <laughs> I, I mean, Marie, er, Celeste, rather, is not going to be much of an offensive person very much over the next little while, because I need to level her magic up that is curative. And all of her attack spells are currently level 2, so I don't need to worry about them right now. Right now. Die! The snowman fell! That looked more like a yeti to me. The other ones were, like, beige. Check this out. I'm sledding. I'm sledding. I guess I wouldn't have been able to walk on this snow before, eh? Now, I... <sighs> this is a long way to go. Uh, I wonder if even starting this cave is a good idea. Well, I, think, I feel like I have time. This is a long walk, and I don't even... Hang on. Hang on. Okay, so I still have to go over this way because there's nothing up to the left there. Yay for maps! I'm so glad someone gave me that tip. Okay. Going to quickly save here, and I'm also going to save state, and now I'm going to go in. Woo! Ice cave. I feel like this is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. Well, I wonder if it's as long as the other cave was, or as complicated. Probably. I was just observing this. Ooh, new monsters. That means I can talk over this battle. New monsters, I'm showing you new monsters. Um, the It's interesting, in the NES era of these games, where the only way they really had to make this make things difficult was to make them complicated. I was playing Final Fantasy 1 thinking this, because Final Fantasy 1, the dungeons and that, if you don't know where the stairs are, then all you're doing is just hunting for stairs. <laughs> Looking for stairs. That's all you're doing the whole time. So, uh-oh, critical hit. That was painful. Um, so, it's it's interesting. I, I'm hoping that by this time in the series, the, um, the developers figured out how to make things uh, challenging without making them obtuse. But we'll see. We'll see. It was a little better. It was better in the Semite Cave than it was in a bunch of the dungeons in Final Fantasy 1. So, you know, I'm, I have faith. I have faith. See, I just, I love it when Joseph hits things. It looks so funny. It's like Machine Gun Fist. Like Robo from Chrono Trigger. Uzi Punch. That's it. You're Robo, Joseph. I'm going to call you Robo from now on. You're Russian robot Robo. <laughs> uh, I don't know why Joseph is Russian. Maybe he lives, maybe because he lives in the middle of winter. I don't know. And Bill gets vitality up. Hooray! Um, also, again, my Russian accent is terrible, just like all the rest of them, so please don't take me too seriously. Ah, ice chest. Ice chest, what do you have? Okay, that's not that's fair to kick in the teeth. I'd really like a way to recover Celeste's MP. Because there doesn't seem to be... I haven't gotten any ethers, I don't think. And Joseph got agility. Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, because I don't want to be in the same position I was in the last cave running severely low on MP. I'm going to have to just kind of... Ooh, what? What are you... Icicle? I'm fighting ice. Okay. Um, yeah, because I'm having to fight with Celeste now just because I'm afraid of her losing MP. And that, that was... That was... La oh, no. Are these the kind of enemies you have to hit with magic? Oh, maybe not. She did more damage with than Joseph did with his fists with her bow last time. That was fun. 
She totally wiped out a snowman. Abominable though he was. Oh dear. Oh dear. I feel like these guys are a bit of a pain. Let's continue along this road here. I'm always afraid to hit someone, hit an enemy twice with two people. Um, because, ooh, there we go. Uh, because of this ridiculous, like, I can't automatically switch targets thing. So, I just assume that if it dies, I'm going to have wasted the turn. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm playing the game wrong. That's That may be all there is to it. Let's, let's find out. Can we please kill all these things now? What? Zero damage. You even, you hit, but there was no damage. Proof that Celeste isn't exactly a hardcore physical fighter. Not even from the long range. Hooray! Icicle fell. <laughs> the icicle fell. I love it. I love it. Okay. Punch it to death. Yes! Joseph, you are wonderful. You make my life happy. And Bill gets a shield and sword level up. Andre gets vitality up. That was worth some fun. Okay. Door or stairs? Hmm. Door. The, the door is... Okay, that's going to be my way out, I betcha. If there's any Final Fantasy logic to this game at all. Well, this... Hurrah! Andre gets power up and an axe level! I want Joseph to get a fist level. This, this place seems more linear than... Okay, water. That that seems like it would be kind of cold. This this place seems more linear than the last one. I really like the battle background in here. But yeah, it seems like since Final Fantasy 1, they traded out... Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. That's a dead head. That's... That's... That's, hor that's horrifying. That's, that's terrible. Deadhead. Pardon me. Wrong target there. Come on, Celeste. Get with the program. Come on. I, I'm afraid of the deadhead. I want to hit the deadhead a lot. <laughs> it's terrible. Look at that thing. It's, I really like the battle background here. Look at that. It's really pretty. But I'm finding that the Final Fantasy... Oh, wow. That was really easy. Well, that happened. I'm finding that Final Fantasy 2 swapped out the crazy I can't find my wayness of Final Fantasy 1 for random empty rooms that do nothing for you. Which I'm not sure which one I'd like better, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, you're a grenade. Which means I've really got to hurt you. Um, I don't trust that grenade not to explode, so I want to make sure it does die. Yeah, I think I was on the right track with that. Possibly. Possibly. There we go. For once, I did something right. Uzi punch. Uzi punch, Joseph. I had this song stuck in my head forever. Seriously. Although yesterday. <laughs> so I was hanging out with a friend yesterday. And, um... The topic of the day was Frozen and Let It Go, and I realized Agility Up to all... Oh, darn it. Oh wait, was that Andre? Was that... Let me check their stats. How are you doing for... Okay, your intelligence 20. You're okay. How about you? You're not very intelligent at all. <laughs> but you're powerful. I like it. Yeah, we were talking about Frozen. Oh, I'm just going this way. We were talking about Frozen and Let It Go and all of the iterations and parodies thereof. And it just, it turned into the whole darn night singing Ice Wind. Singing uh, Let It Go for no reason. I, I don't know what you do. Are you like a, an attacking item? I'll save you for a boss and see. It's a little bit terrifying. Sayonara Icicles. I really don't like those icicles. I don't. Maybe you guys are lucky I'm not singing right now. <laughs> because now Let It Go is back in my head successfully. Although this music. Bill gets agility up, so let's get... Oh. See, that's the... Oh, I can't stand that. Yeah, this cave music is much more likely to be stuck in my head. Not gonna lie. Ugh. I mean, really, though. 
I'd like to be able to use Celeste as a magic user and not have to worry about her intelligence going down when I have to just hit with her. There's no defend option. Oh, darn. And Celeste gets a cure level up finally. Joseph gets a power up and an HP up. And ow, those grenades hurt. One blew up, and that hurt, and I was expecting that. And then one just hit me. Regular old hit, and it hurt. A lot. Okay, I just realized we are running a little bit tight on time. So I'm going to get this chest, and then we're going to call that a recording. I got a nice spell. I got a nice spell. I'm going to give that to, um... What was I, who's I going to give that to? Oh yeah, I'll give it to Bill, because he's got my... He's kind of like my secondary magician. <laughs> Pretty ineffective secondary magician. Can I save in here? No. Okay. So I'm in a save state, but still, here I am. And, um, sorry. What was I? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, uh, we're gonna call that a recording. I'm gonna leave it there. I'll, you'll, I'll, uh, rejoin you in my next recording. We're picking up from right here in the cave where we're leaving off. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, subscribe. And if you happen to know anything about this cave that I really should know, then please tell me. Please help me. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.